Now, I just wanted to start off, I'm not doing this for fame or attention, I just wanted to spread an awareness, because this sort of topic and what happened to this person that bring once brung happiness and comfort for everyone, I mean, not really everyone, but most of everyone that deserves, you know, love and comfort from a favorite anime character. But sometimes there's always a dark side when it comes to ASMRs. <laughs> ASMRs isn't for everyone. It's for those sorts of people that, you know, needs a caring voice, you know, cherishment, feeling love, or just fun stories to listen to, or just weird sounds like a tapping or you know that sort of stuff but this one is a little different and yeah I believe everyone recognizes this logo I guess some of you um I'm gonna show it right now I feel like someone would get nostalgic just seeing that now there's a reason I showed that is because this was a profile pic of someone who meant a lot to these sweet audiences and they seem like one of the most sweetest people and what happened to that person is they deleted their channel and I'm going to explain why and I've been reading comments on why this sort of person um, deleted their channel and the backstory made my jaw dropped and it actually made me cry that someone would do this to that person because it feels so unthinkable and this should not happen to an ASMRist that causes no harm or doesn't deserve any hate all because of, you know, a certain thing that made them feel sensitive about or they just don't want to do anymore it just brings someone down with just hate in general and what happened to Kilo a safe place it feels so evil and this is my side rant <sighs> Now, Kilo a Safe Place began his channel way back in 2021, possibly around June or July. I gotta say, the reason why he does ASMR is because <laughs> I listened to his backstory. It was, it was very simple and kind of cute. He never watched Hunter x Hunter and then he started watching it because a friend told him he sounded like Kiloa. No joke, kind of simple backstory. <laughs> I thought it was adorable. And... Yeah, I mean, he doesn't really, he not just do Kilua, he does sometimes Kurapika. I think I heard him did like uh, Venti, Ray, and From the Promised Neverland. No joke, he does a better Ray than I do. <laughs> However, there was a video that kind of shocked me, that made me blown away, but made me feel, you know, chucklish was his Leorio impression. I forgot what it was, but it was things from a jealous Kilo and Kurapika. No joke, I was blown away when I heard his um Leorio impression. <laughs> I told my friend I was like, wow. I'm said like wow like thirty times and she just continues counting. And Gone too. <laughs> I can't forget about Gone. I'm gonna say his Gone impression was pretty cute. I mean, his Yandere Gone series did make me chuckle because, fun fact, I was going to do a Yandere Gone in the future because it was inspired by him. <laughs> I still laugh to this very day, but it's not, it's not, it's not a bad sort of thing. It's just, wow, I never knew Gone could have a dark side like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's pretty much his simple backstory and the ending... It kind of cut short, and I don't really blame him because I was questioning, is everything alright? 
And that's when I saw his final video about him distancing himself from the ASMR community, or listener community. I listened into what he has to say, and I was shocked about what he said. You know, like, being peer pressure of doing NSFW, Kilua, and I heard he's being you know, sexualized because of his voice. And then, I don't know, but I actually got some hints that he's not an adult. I mean, from the sounds of it, he, I believe, I am not sure how old he is, but he sounds like he could be a young teenager or... I don't know. If you beans know, um, comment down below because I don't know his age. But I'm guessing he's like probably 16 or 17. I mean, that's still a child to me that someone would say those sorts of things about him and his voice. I mean, I've handled minor sexualizations around that age and it's horrible that there's so many people out there that would say that to a child because it's something unique about them. Now, I, I'm, I, I do say his voice is pretty unique. It's soothing, it seems calming, and it can comfort someone. But that doesn't have the excuse to say, hey, your voice sounds very good. You should do NSFW using that voice. You do know... That can make someone uncomfortable and not everything has to be nsfw it's like telling someone wow you look very beautiful you should start doing an only fans you know that can really make someone uncomfortable if someone said that that's pretty much what these sorts of people are saying to kilua now i'm not sure but i guess i'm just going to call him Jax or kilua but i think for this i'm just going to call him Jax because i believe everyone would recognize the name because he voices these characters just for fun in ASMRs. Anyways, that really like messed me up that someone would say you should do NSFW Kilua, which everyone must have forgotten that Kilua is a minor. Yes, Kilua is a few of those anime ASMRs that get sexualized. And I haven't seen those videos because I feel like it's just kids sexualizing this character. And I feel like I'm not the only one that's freaked out about it. Because those kids that do those ASMRs must realize that there are adults watching it too. And that right there is a red flag right there. It's not just Kilua, but it's other anime characters that get sexualized, like Hanako-kun, Tsukasa, um... I feel like anyone else that's underage but Kilua pretty much yeah look age ups can be fun but when it comes to age ups it doesn't have to mean sexualization heck I've done a few Kilua age ups and they're not sexualized at all it's usually something sweet like family related you know starting a family AU fun fact I did get one NSFW um request of the Kilua honeymoon and that made me cringe so that's why I would never do one but Jax gets a ton of requests of relating that sort of topic it mind boggled me that they just don't they just want him to do like those sorts of weird things with his voice and wanting his voice to do you know what Yagami Yato does <laughs> What those people are doing are wrong. Peer pressuring someone to do something that they don't want to do is peer pressure. And peer pressure is one of the most hardest feelings that a human can go through because these sorts of people are pushing something that someone doesn't want to do. It's also not consensual. Now, consent really does matter if someone is very comfortable with it, but... I feel like Jax is not the type of person that'll do that sort of content. Why exactly? 
because he possibly knows better that it's wrong to sexualize an underage character. Sure, they may not be real, but it's still wrong. And he's a minor as well, the person behind the voice. Now, I'm going to stop with that sort of rant because, again, peer pressuring someone to do something that they feel uncomfortable doing for, you know, comfort. Do it on someone that's older, older than Jax, and that does NSFW content. Not someone that's innocent. You just, it's like telling a child to start smoking. You know, unthinkable to get atten- more attention. It's very wrong, and it's also grooming. These people are grooming Jax to do that. And let me tell you, grooming is <sighs> biggest, biggest, deepest crimson red flag to do that to someone. Now, let's move on to this other subject. And <laughs> now, we can all agree TikTok is one of the most toxic most absurd apps that has ever been invented from a third world country. Now, sure, I may sound like a hypocrite that I used to have a TikTok, but deleted it because of its chaotic stuff that's happening there. For example, trendy trends that can really lead you to the hospital, songs that are ruined because it was once popular and loved due to TikTok. And, of course, child grooming. Yeah, tons of child grooming. And, I couldn't forget about this, bullying. Yes, everyone on TikTok is a bully. I'm not saying not all, but you know the type of people I'm talking about. ASMR does get bullied, and I saw, you know, back when I used to have TikTok, ASMRs never get that much love. Usually it's mukbang ASMR or, you know, the simple sort of ASMR like tapping. But anime ASMRs get bullied a ton because it's weird to them. So I read on one of my, a few of my Bean's comments when I said, you know, the announcements of, you know, Jax deleting his channel I read that he got bullied on TikTok because a few of uh, fake fans were reacting to his vi- like to his voice. They would say horrible things about how he sounds and just laughing at his voice saying he sounds I don't even want to know what they want. I don't know what they said about his voice. That right there is a D-I-C-K move. It does not make you cool to pick on someone that what they're sensitive over, like it could be a voice, it can be, you know, your face or what you wear. You know, everyone gets bullied on, you know, a certain thing. And a voice, I could actually relate because I used to be picked on my voice a lot. But... What those people are doing, you know, picking fun on this, on Jax's voice, that doesn't make you cool to pick on someone's voice. It makes you, like I said, a D-I-C-K. It made me cry just because, you know, everything is trendy on TikTok and thinking bullying is the key to lead someone to depression insanity or make them commit a crime or a locale. Jax is none of those. And my biggest worry is that some people are saying that he hoping he doesn't hurt himself. I don't want him to hurt himself because he doesn't deserve all of this. He deserves none of this This BS, because people are saying that he's been dealing with this when he uploads or, you know, he sees in the comment section and they just surround him with 
nonsense that he doesn't want to deal with or just never wants to do because it's his own choice and peer pressuring someone that seriously doesn't want to do it like that sort of thing should be left alone or just deal with it like i said nothing think with your head not your d-i-c-k or whatever you have down there not everything has to be that sort of topic in every thing. <sighs> and those people that bully him, I'm not sure if you're going to watch this because I don't know who the fuck you are. You should be ashamed of yourself picking on someone that meant no harm, does nothing wrong with society. You are what's wrong with society. You should feel ashamed on picking on someone thinking you should drive them to depression. You need help. Bullying doesn't make you cool. Picking on someone or peer pressuring someone is not cool. It doesn't make you a better person. It makes you a D-I-C-K. I'm so sorry. I've, I've been listening or reading comments on what happened and just hearing this all happen on a very sweet person that meant no harm to anyone, but people just don't return happiness. I'm not sure if Jax still has YouTube, you know, he just watches it. <laughs> If he ever watches this, I want to tell him this. Jax, sweetie, we may not know each other very well, and if you plan to come back, no pressure, just you do you. Me and my beans and your pretty faces, you've given them a safe place. And they seem like very wonderful audiences of yours. And they missed you very much. And they want, we thought, to create a safe place for you. Returning a f an offer or a favor of creating a safe place for you. Because you deserve comfort as well. And if you ever wanted to talk or vent, we'll be there for you. And I've been watching you for almost a year, last year, and I, it brings a smile to my face as well. And the last video you've posted, it did break my heart. But it's your choice and we'll accept you no matter what. I just gotta say, I hope you're doing all right and unplugging as well. I mean, you know, like unplug offline, not dealing with that sort of BS. Please go easy on yourself and take as much time as you need. And we'll always support you no matter what. And another thing, I was sent a mention on my community that a bean told me that there is someone that is uploading, you know, ASMRs of Kilua Safe Place, you know, his past videos. And to anyone that still has never forgotten about him, you should check out this channel and I'll send a link as well. And here's what the profile looks like. I wanted to tell you, Beans, thank you so much for listening to my rant. It, this is just spreading an awareness, is don't ever bully someone if they meant no harm. That is the biggest lesson because Jax never deserved all of this hate, the bullying, and the sexualizations that they've given him because he has a unique voice.
And I hope he's doing all right right now. Because as a mama bean, he is indeed a baby bean. Like the rest of you. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. And thank you so much for listening. And I do hope you felt the same way. And let's just see what happens in the future. All right. Have a wonderful day, little beans, and please be safe and spread this word, because no good person deserves any hate.